Hello, my fellow Dream Chasers, Kenji Retro here, back with more my, back with more breaking points for F1 2021. Now, last time we kicked off, we got the prologue done, we made it to F1, we were in fifth racing point, we didn't have the best of stars, but hey, what else are you gonna do? But nonetheless, we're gonna get some more chapters done here. This is actually quite lengthy, so I figured I may as well get, since we're now on our summer break for the Formula 1, I figured I may as well get some uh, more F1 content out for you guys, something I haven't had, haven't done any since opening week. It's the Chinese Grand Prix here in Shanghai, and this track, fast becoming a rookie's favourite. And Albon, remember him from last year? A brilliant race in his debut season, and it looks like Aidan Jackson's continuing the trend. He really is, Croft. He's showing great promise so far this season. Well, here's Ackerman now, going up behind his young uh -oh. teammates. And the rumour in the paddock, Croft, is that the tension's building between these two. Let's see what happens here. Here we go, Ackerman's going for it. Down the inside of the hairpin. It's oh, no! no! Be the understatement of the day. Keep him focused, concentrate. That brush with his teammate clearly affecting the young driver. It looks like it has, Crofty. I can't see any significant damage to that car, so he's going to have to pull himself back into this race. All right, here we go. place before the end of the race and I've got six laps to go so yeah the F1 yesterday at the time of recording was very exciting to say the least will that count as a clean DRS overtake to go towards the podium pass challenges. I'm, I'm not far off getting prestige level two in the podium pass. Seventeen chapters from what I've seen. And uh, yes folks, I have turned down the master volume on the game. Because I don't think the commentary was loud enough to be heard without making major adjustments to the, uh, uh, the volume. There's a purple sector too, that'll do nicely. Oh, Stefan Ocon, get out of my way! Thank you! Oh, and there's Casper Ackerman. Oh, and I got DRS! Even though I've got nobody to overtake, so... Bye! Oh, look who's ahead. Oh, it's George! Right, come on, George. Come on, Georgie boy. Blue flags. Blue flags. Get out of the way! Well, at least I've got the fastest half of the race. Not that it's going to count towards anything, because it's not enough to get the fastest lap without finishing inside the top ten. Uh, that ends the rules. If you, don't get, if you don't finish inside the top ten, you don't get any points. Well, I see the uh, the F1 yesterday was really it's it's a serious contender for race of the season. 
massive commiserations to Sebastian Vettel, though, after that disqualification for not being able to provide uh, uh, the fuel sample that was required. He needed a litre of fuel to be able to provide that adequate sample. And then, whoa, what did I just... Seriously, go onto two wheels there. There he goes. Right, there goes Jackson. Oh, that's unfortunate. Just to see some front wing damage. Oh well. Yes, I went. Whoa. That could have gone horribly wrong. No DRS on this occasion. But still, blue flags! Blue flags! Come on, blue flags! Blue flags! Blue flags! Get out of my way! That was a late send. Oh. Do I retaliate? Do I retaliate? I'm so tempted to retaliate. But of course, if you fail the objective, it all counts for now. Why? Because it means you have to restart that chapter all over again. There's Casper Ackerman. Aikman, however you want to pronounce it. Onwards. I managed to get to 10th. That was the target. I think Ackerman's got a lot of damage. Oh, talk of the damage. That first that first corner. What was Bottas trying? He braked so, He braked so much later than everybody else. What was he trying? There's Albon ahead of me. But in the end, Mercedes and Verstappen, uh, Hamilton are back in the lead of the championship heading into the summer break. I might need to change my fantasy team after this, but summer break will be a good opportunity for the teams to recharge their batteries. opportunity to recharge their batteries and regroup heading into Belgium. So firm fan favourite. That won't be till the end of the month though for that race. Is it the scumbag? It's the scumbag himself! Devon Butler! I want to take him out. I really want to take Devon out. Because he's exactly that. He's nothing but a scumbag. Slap the race. Don't see anybody taking that anytime soon. I 
first chicken didn't fail. Could have got him on the S's. Okay, that won't work. Oh, completion progress, by the way, folks. I've got 18 achievements, which leaves another 32 to go. Let's see the damage you took. Please tell me you took damage. Yes, he did. He took some damage. That's a lot of damage. He took some damage. Whoa! Yep. And this is the final lap. He has to finish with that. <laughs> Screw the David Butler, he has to finish with that. Na, 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 na. Just give him no points. That's how much I hate him. I have ensured he scores mille points. No, oh, I not can't get past him. I'd love to see Ackerman get, get past him as well. How freaking a thought of that. he's holding up. That's all because he's got no he's got no front wing effectively. Everyone's gonna get past it because they've all got DRS apart from him. Bottas gets the win. Oh my god, you see that? Go on. Get past him. Oh! Oh, it's Lando! There we go. He is now out of the points. Shame Ackerman's not in the points, though, but it's, uh, hey -oh. The main thing is, Butler gets Nirkwa. And I think it started raining. Or is that just... seeing the two Racing Point teammates make contact again. Things don't look stable between these two drivers, Crofty. They've yeah. only been to <laughs> make five minutes. That wheel bump, could that have been avoided, Ant? Yeah, it looked like Ackerman was making a bit of a statement to me. He's certainly not given Jackson any room. A sign of things to come? Well, for their sakes, let's hope not. That wraps things up here in China. Until next time. After a magnificent race, we can now see drivers make their way to the podium. Once again, Silver Rose, who top spot, a well-earned victory for Mercedes.
this is going to be interesting. Let's see how this plays out. Casper, what the hell was that? You nearly put me out of the entire race. Bumping wheels like that, you could have put us both into the barrier. Casper. Come on, man. You I have to make a phone call. Casper! Ackerman! Mom! Cancel the TV subscription. The entertainment is right here. I want you really to punch you in the face right so hard <laughs> that I give you a black eye and a broken nose. You two are like characters. While it uh, while at the same time, uh, maybe knocking a tooth or two down your throat. Damn! Ask anyone. What do you mean? The paddock talks. And so did Ackerman. Should have heard him last season. He didn't care who he talked to, and he was always going off on about you. He tried to stop them from signing you. Didn't want to play babysitter. Oh, he did, did he? Everyone knows. Uh, have you not seen the way that people look at you? Come on, Aiden, don't listen to him. We Do not listen to him. He never stood a chance with him. Do I advise? Prove him wrong. <laughs> Chin up. announcement there uh, as of the 2021 season racing point will become Aston Martin nice tasty 500 EXP that leaves me just 10,000 away. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to get as much waiting point recorded tonight as possible. So we're, here, so we're now into chapter three. Recent events, recent series of incidents with his teammate Casper Ackerman, both on and off the track, have marred the start of Aiden Jackson's rookie F1 season. With the French Grand Prix coming up, Jackson is keen to find the form that brought him much success. So much success in F2. French Grand Prix. There's all formation there. I just need to beat both McLaren and Renault drivers. Lights out. Away we go. What a start there. Gets ahead of Russell. Now he gets himself ahead of Magnus, and he's got Giovinazzi and Albon ahead of him. And there is the scumbag himself, Devin Butler. He goes for the send, and what a start from Aiden Jackson. He's almost into the top ten. He gets himself almost ahead of Gasly. Oh, they bang wheels. A little bit of damage there. Hopefully it doesn't affect him too much, though. This is a very tricky track to overtake on, but I think Jackson says otherwise. Can 
cannot stop getting into collisions this season. It seems to be a running thing. Anyway, from P18. Nope. No, you don't. No one's getting past me today! You'll never take my place alive! And I just need to get past Mr. Spinala! What's the bet they are gonna fix? What's the best they get a fix for front wing? Wouldn't surprise me. Wouldn't surprise me if they did. Nevertheless. There we go. There goes Vettel. Now, I need to get past... Uh, right. Three cars in one. Ocon, Norris, and Ricardo, which leaves signs. Behind Charles Leclerc! to streaming more Resident Evil Village and um, Spider-Man Mars Morales. I am going to get round to doing those again soon. Nope. 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 There you go, the bollards. Come on, Lando! See what you got! Ahead of them is the the torpedo himself, Mr. Russian Techno Dubstep. Mr. Daniel Kvyat. Whoa! Tried to go around the inside. That was never. That was never going to work in a million years. This will, though. There we go. How's about that? Now he's got Ricardo to negotiate. This is going to be a very, very strong finish at this rate. Stupid game. Make me start on soft. I specifically said to start on mediums! Uh, never mind. You dare cut across me! You dare cut across me, Aiden Jackson, like that? How bad's the damage? How bad's the damage? Not too bad, that's fine. Told you, no one's getting past me. the smooth operator himself. Boom! Send it! Oh. And another fastest lap. Get out of my way! I don't think I'm going to get the Mercedes. I've got the Ferraris, though. 
of one of the rifles in the form of Albon! I can't believe I forgot to turn the ERS off. Behold, I'm actually catching up with these guys. I'm actually catching up with them. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a barnstormer. Cat Aiden Jackson leading an F1 race, and he's got the fastest lap. Alrighty then. Let's see what everybody else does. Bottas. Come on, Lewis! Really hope that gets counted as a clean overtake. Tires are already about halfway through their lifespan. This is probably the point where the drivers are going to start thinking about coming in to make their stops. I can't believe Aiden Jackson's actually coming around to lead a race and he's got Max, 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 Super Max ahead of him! Going to try into the Penultimate corner, not going to get him there, but he's going to get him here. He is, he was crucially within DRS range, and off he goes. Aiden Jackson is leading a Grand Prix race. That's something you don't see every day. And now Hamilton's got himself ahead. until everybody else has made their stop and then I'll make mine. Three hours later. I could have gone another couple of laps, but it wasn't worth taking the risk. Oh, now I get a warning for exceeding track limits. Do you give me that now? Okay.
That's Lewis in the lead, but he's not going to be staying in the lead for much longer. It's time to lose the lead. Again with a late sender! Just, just an example out there. And um, over the weekend as well, there's going to be a Schumacher documentary on Netflix as well. So no surprise, I'm going to be very, so no surprise, I'm very excited about that. Aiden Jackson, a huge upset today, comes round the final corner, is he going to steal the fastest lap right at the end, is he going to beat it, yes he is, a 133.9, and that is Aiden Jackson's first ever Formula 1 victory. A hard fought win today then, for a very difficult race. That roar from the crowd really says it all, really. Mix more often. On a good day, they're as good as anyone in that midfield pack. And they've certainly proved it today. The racing point team will be very happy with today's performance and the final result. Another play of egg driver and team work. And a well-deserved first finish. I didn't just get a podium, Claire. I got the win. That's concerning. great result especially since it's your first season in formula one would you say you found your feet now since the jump to f1 there is no sound coming from aiden jackson whatsoever thanks code masters you've punched the game and broken it at the same time am i playing f1 2020 all over again within the team we've all seen that you and casper have locked horns so far this season is that something that's now behind you
Thank you for your time. Even though we heard absolutely nothing. So here we go, Jackson putting in a solid performance at the French Grand Prix to firmly cement Racing Point as a contender in the crowded middle team, middle pack of the F1 grid, much to the delight of the team's management and fans. There we go. Oh, it's Brian. How do we go? Just so you know, there's a full team meeting in 20 minutes. No worries. We just want to review our strategy while the race is still fresh in our minds. Right, okay. I'll see you there. Uh, listen, uh, while you're on, I just wanted to say that was some solid driving out there today. I'm impressed. I appreciate it. Thanks, Brian. Put it this way. It's been noticed. Well done, kid. I'll see you in the meeting. Oh, it's Mumsy again. Hey, Mum. Hello, love. Just calling to say well done, as usual. You okay? Thanks, Mum. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Real good. I think I delivered today. I thought so. And I think the neighbours probably did too. <laughs> I couldn't stop shouting. <laughs> oh, not again. I'm so proud of you, Aiden. Hey, it's Silverstone soon. So does that mean you'll be home for a few days? Probably. I'll try and get over for a day or two, either side of race weekend. You know, Silverstone was always your dad's favorite track. I know. You're still coming to the race, right? Do you really think I'd miss out on the VIP treatment? <laughs> of course I'm coming. I just wish it wasn't on my own, you know? Yeah, I know, but I'll be there, and I can't wait to see you. Me too. Anyway, I won't keep you. I imagine you want to go and celebrate. Well done again. Love you. Love you too, Mum. Speak soon. One thousand dex people. That's tasty. Thank you very much. I'll have a bit of that. the next chapter, The Homecoming. With Racing Point continuing to show signs of improvement, the F1 world turns its eyes to Silverstone, a real test for rookie Aiden Jackson as he returns home with hopes of impressing the crowd and earning their support at the historic circuit. And hey, hey, ho, look at this, Fernando Alonso's coming back. Oh, this is to pass on a bit of friendly advice oh now it's always tricky racing on your home track <laughs> the pressure all the fans watching it's a nightmare right yeah i imagine it is but 
If you keep your cool, you stay focused, you will get through it, okay? Just, just imagine it's a different circuit on the other side of the planet. Then, when your race does... Continue or hang out the court like you sure you want to proceed. Yes, I want to prescribe. Screw you, butler! I don't need advice from you! Capitalizing on a fantastic Q3, Aiden Jackson is enjoying one of the finest career performances when a front right puncher threatens to ruin his chances of a top five finish. With friends and family in the stands and the crowd behind him, Jackson sets his sights on salvaging what he can from the race. This hurts. We start right at the puncture. Down the hangar straight as well. Oh dear. We're at the halfway point in the race anyway. So there's that. This is the longest pit stop on. This is the longest pit stop on the calendar. It is just. Ugh. Oh! -ho -ho! Hello, pit stop. Two point one seconds. Now, of course, with the fact that I'm on soft tyres. With the fact that I'm on the softs, this gives me a huge advantage! And I've lost part of my front wing! Let's try that again, shall we? Round the outside of Brooklyn's! Now heading up towards Stone. Just... Don't do a Hamilton Verstappen, please. It's one of the fastest corners on the calendar. I'm so far wide, it's fine. Your maggots and Beckett's. There we go, purple sector two. Check my straight. Uh, no, 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 flashback. Race director, that's what I need. Has everybody else stops? They have. Everybody else has stopped. So I need to get these positions on track. Can't rely on everybody else making these pit stops. Uh, oh well. Life gives you lemons. Purple sectors that will uh, do. Was a clean DRS overtake that'll go towards one of the podium pass challenges in the VIP section, might I add. Vettel and Ackerman. Uh, they're heading around, they're heading, around. They're heading up towards Cops. Whoa! 
That could have gone horribly wrong. But fine. Get him on the switch back. And he does. There's my teammate. DRS overtake. Oh goody, I've got the scumbag ahead of me. Not Albon, but you know who. Wrong. Late send on to Albon. <laughs> to go. I think the next season, I think the next season, the Assigns and Leclerc are going to be teammates. Oh, the scenes. The man in the banana suit and the smooth operator. There we go. 
another fastest lap. Take seven. A couple more laps, and I might have stood a chance of getting back into the top five. But hey, -ho. yeah, that ain't happening. Yeah, this ain't happening. Uh, I did my best. Wait just a minute. No way. Top six? After being so far behind? Nah. Well, Lewis Hamilton wins again. No surprise there. Is Jackson seriously going to get him on the last corner? He goes for the send and I think he's got him! Oh my, what he has! Hey, Jackson, he stores back. What a recovery! P6, what a recovery! Well, they've done a brilliant job by Massey. Anderson with intense pressure to take a well earned victory here at the British Grand Prix. What a race for young Aiden Jackson. If he can keep this up, he's got a long, promising career in front of him. Absolutely. He'd have been gutted about puncture. Imagine what kind of challenge he'd have been able to make without it. You've got to give it to him, though. He gritted his teeth and pulled it back. Great driving. That's pretty quietly, but things seem to be on the up for Racing Point's Aiden Jackson. Want to watch? I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the ladies. They certainly deserve it. Chapter 4. Despite suffering a puncture mid-race, Jackson manages to overcome the odds, securing a brilliant points finish for racing points at the British Grand Prix. to be so modest. 
What are you on about, Brian? Well, after that puncture, everyone thought you'd lost it. But to pull it back and into the points, it's all anyone's talking about. Well, I'm glad the press is starting to take notice. Oh, get used to it. They put a bunch of interviews in your diary for tomorrow. It's why I was calling. Right. Thanks for letting me know. So don't celebrate too hard tonight, eh? Yeah, all right, Brian. Don't worry. I'm only going to see my mum. Right. Well, each to their own. See you later, Brian. Come on, JP, should we get in here? Another TC500, that's fine. 